Our first guest has been nominated for seven Grammys, won four CMA awards, and yesterday he did something incredibly brave when he publicly came out as gay. From Brothers Osborne, please welcome T.J. Osborne. Hey, Ellen. Hi, T.J. Thanks so much for being uh, here. It's so good to be here. You, just hearing you say that, just honestly, it made me so emotional. I'm trying not to cry out on national television right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. It's a very emotional thing. For something to, to, to keep shoved way, way down for a long time and to finally be able to say, even saying the sentence when you say, I'm gay, it's a weird sentence to come out of your mouth, even though you've known it for a long time, because you don't think you're ever going to say that sentence. You're right. It is weird to say. And even in doing this, I noticed when I addressed my, my Instagram account just to make a quick little video, even though I was coming out, it still felt really odd to say it then. And um, and I think that's kind of the really beautiful thing of all this for me is I've never really come out to very many people. I've only done it to a few people, mainly because I find it just really awkward and uncomfortable. And so it has been a really wild experience to have come out to very few people, although a lot of my friends and family knew already to then to kind of come out publicly in one big uh, foul swoop, which was in some ways nice, in other ways has made it for a very, a very uh, uh, emotional day. Yeah, oh, I'm sure it is. It's just, I think people don't understand because, you know, it's something that you're, you're supposed to be ashamed of, you're not supposed to say, you're not supposed to be, and straight people don't ever have to shove something down and all of a sudden say to someone, I'm straight, like, you know, that's not an emotional thing. Exactly right. And that's what, you know, I, I was asked, like, why do you have to do this? And, and you know, in, in a perfect world, I wish I didn't have to. And, and I kind of told myself for, for a long time that, you know, if, if we really, if, if everything is equal here and it's not that big of a deal, then why, why do I have to come out? And unfortunately, it just isn't that way. And I kind of got to this point to where I knew there was really never going to be the perfect time. And that really, honestly, now that I'm kind of behind it now with, it, with the coming out, that it's so like wild to me to think about really the, the, the perfect time is always now, you know? And I, I, I honestly, I instantaneously felt, thank you. I instantaneously felt like I wish I had done this a long time ago. Yeah, well, it, it, it's, it, you know, of course people say that because it feels so freeing when you finally do it and to not have any secrets. Um, and to not feel shame about yourself, which is the most important thing. Um, but, Absolutely. but you know, the time is is right now for you. But yeah, it's if you really start thinking about it, and you're thinking, well, when is the right time? It's it's never the right time unless you say now. It's the right, right time. But you know, it's because you're in country music, and I think that's a genre that is is more difficult, it seems, than any other music. Uh, why do you think that is? You know, I think country really comes from a lot of rural roots that are uh, a lot of kind of uh, Christianity and a lot of kind of old school way of thinking. And, and I really think that's changed a lot over the years. And I know it's changed a lot over the years. And, you know, I'm really kind of, um, I'm curious to see how it, it all plays out with us going into rural America. You know, I feel pretty confident going to places like LA and going to Chicago and playing here in Nashville where I live. And um, you know, I'm curious to see how it is in, in kind of the more rural counties and such. And, and part of me, you know, I'm, you know, I've been, the other thing just to touch on what you said earlier, Ellen, you know, I think not only is it a weight off of my shoulders to kind of tell my truth, but I don't think I, I expected a wave of love from family and friends, and I did not expect it to feel the way it felt. And, I, you know, I think it's one thing when you know, you just know and assume people love you. And it's different when you hear it and when you hear it with sincerity. And right now I feel so incredibly loved. And it's one of those things where, you know, I'm like, God, I wish that I could share this love with other people and, and to feel this way. And then to have people that I never even expected to say anything um, reaching out to me, people that I feel like personify masculinity and straight culture to the nth degree who are coming out with, with a, a lot of pride for me. And it really is one of those things that was really the, the moment to me that made me feel like, wow, that was there the whole time. And yeah, I think there are some people out there that we have, that there's a lot of hurdles clearly with people that don't don't like gay people. I mean, it's just a thing. And um, but in some respects, I do feel like you know maybe maybe I, 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 through my insecurities, I've built it up to maybe be a bigger hurdle than it really was the whole time. 
Well, I think what you just said is right. There, there are going to be people who just have strong opinions, and you can't change their minds, and that's that's who they are. But you know, I think there, especially when you say the the, the, the a lot of Christians. It is all about loving people and loving one another. So I think you're going to have a lot of Christians that are going to love you and accept you for who you are, because they should, because that's the Christian way. Um, but I'm just so proud of you, and I and I, I you know, I just wish everyone, because as we know, there are a lot of people in in every field uh, and and sport, and I just wish everybody. Uh, could, could do it because it would help a lot of people out there that are struggling. And you're going to help a whole lot of people, a lot of young boys that, that want to be in country music and say, I don't know how to do that. You're a huge role model now. So I love Thanks talking to you. Thank you so much. When we get live music in the studio again, please come back, you and your brother, all right? I would love that. All right. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things like Ball Peen Hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh,